starting from sitting on the floor. Have your feet on the floor in front of you with your knees up to the sky. Bring your hands to the floor behind you with your fingertips pointed towards your hips. Now you may want to experiment with your fingertips away from you, but I find most people generally prefer it with the fingers pointed towards the hips. What you're going to do is you're going to inhale. And as you exhale, clench your buttocks, raising yourself up into a table posture as if someone could serve tea on that big belly of yours. Have the back straight, have the neck straight, the thighs are strong, supporting yourself. As you get bigger, this will become harder, so practice it more in your first and second trimester so you have enough strength and stamina to pull yourself up in your third trimester. Another thing that will help you here is to really roll your shoulder blades back, reaching them towards one another so that you have a strong support in your shoulders. So it's not only your buttocks doing all the work to hold your heavy belly up, but you're getting a wonderful, strong, straight muscle from the top of your shoulders all the way down to your hips. Continue to hold this pose, feeling yourself as flat as a table as possible. And then when you need to release, Gently exhale and with grace, return your hips back down to the floor. You may want to shake your wrists out and practice this posture again and again until you feel strong and straight as a table. Starting from your hands and knees, have the fingertips facing one another directly underneath your chest. Your knees are bent so that you have a little bit of support for your low back, so that you're not resting on your toes. This is not a traditional push-up. We want to keep your back supported. So as you exhale, bring yourself close to the floor, bending the elbows away from your body. And then inhale, pushing through the hands, pushing your upper body away from the floor. And practice this for yourself as to how deep, how close to the floor you can come and then exhale, pushing yourself away. You'll feel a wonderful stretch through the breast, the upper chest, the upper back, the shoulders. It's a wonderful posture to begin to strengthen those arms. The baby you're going to be carrying soon. Eight pounds doesn't sound like a lot right now, but you're going to be carrying that around. It's going to start to feel sore. So practice these push-ups now. Get the arms, the chest, the circulation flowing. This is wonderful for breast circulation and health for the lymphatic system. Continue pushing yourself away and letting yourself come with grace and elegance to the floor. You're not flopping down, you're using control. Coming up and coming back down. Now once you feel comfortable with this posture, you may wish to release your feet from the floor and just keep your knees on the floor. That's fine too. If that's comfortable for you, you may want to cross your ankles and continue pushing up and back through the front of your chest and hands. Do as many repetitions as you feel comfortable with. Start standing. Feet about hip width apart, toes pointed forward. Inhale, bring the palms of the hands together at your heart in prayer position. This is your beginning standing posture. What we'll do now is inhale, reach the hands up to the sky, lengthening through the arms, through the back, and as you exhale, draw the hands down in front of your face, in front of your heart, as you allow yourself to gently begin to bend through the knees and squat towards the floor. As you come down closer and closer to the floor, rest your hands on the floor. The top of your head reaches towards the floor. The tailbone reaches to the sky. As you begin to stretch the legs, inhale, rolling yourself up through your spine, coming back to standing once again, opening up the arms. Palms together above your head. Exhale, sinking down into the squat. The hands coming in front of your face down in front of your heart, sinking down into the squat, hands to the floor, head towards the floor, let the legs begin to lengthen through the back of the body, slowly roll up, inhaling, coming up to standing, arms stretch out again, overhead, palms together, sinking down towards the floor, bring the hands in front of your body, eyes are closed, rolled upwards and inwards once you have your inner focus and balance. Rest the hands on the floor. Feel the back of your body lengthening as you inhale back up to standing. Keep your own count. I like to do 26 of these at one time. Allow yourself to count rolling through, going as slow or as fast as you feel comfortable with. This is wonderful to do throughout your entire pregnancy. 
You can really feel yourself lengthening and stretching upwards. I generally do not recommend doing squats after 35 weeks of pregnancy because it may stimulate labor. So this might be something to do to bring on your labor, but certainly not something you want to do too early. But continue doing this posture for as long as feels comfortable for you. Breathing, stretching upwards, and exhale as you're sinking down towards the floor. When you've done your full 26, end by slowly inhaling, rolling upwards, rolling back up to standing. Bring the hands in prayer position in front of your heart. And just rest here for just a moment. Eyes closed. Exhale. Open your eyes. And release. Start from sitting on your heels and come up onto your knees. Coming into the half camel, inhale, circling the arms back around behind you, resting the heels of your hands on the top of your pelvis, fingertips pointed down. And as you exhale, open the heart, roll the shoulders open, the top of your head reaches down towards the floor, getting a gentle stretch through your neck, through the front of your chest, opening up your body here. Press the hips towards the wall in front of you. Feel that wonderful stretch through the diaphragm. This starts to feel wonderful, especially as the baby gets bigger and constricts the breath. Feel that wonderful stretch through the hips, the knees, helping you to feel this wonderful, elongated, long, open heart opener. Resting the hands, supporting the low back. Continue to release and relax here. And then when you are ready to return, Inhale, gently raise the head, sink the hips back down to the heels, and come back into sitting. In this posture, have a pillow standing by in case your knees need a little bit more support. Sitting on your heels, having your knees on the floor, open your knees a little bit wider apart to accommodate a bigger belly. You let your hips fall down to the floor between your heels so that your hips are on the floor, your heels are next to your hips. Your knees are straight front in front of you. If you need a pillow here because this is too much pressure for your knees, raise up and rest the pillow under your hips, between your knees, wherever you need it in order to feel the most supported. And then come back down sitting into the pillow. Now this posture in and of itself is wonderful for your reproductive organs, getting a nice blood flow back down here. Could be good for PMS, you gotta remember that later. Now. Take the arms. You're going to do a wonderful arm stretch to add to this. Starting with your right arm, bring the arm straight up to the sky and drop the right hand between your shoulder blades. You can take the left hand, bring it over the top of your head, holding on to the elbow, and just gently stretch this arm up to the sky. Feeling the shoulder open, feeling your triceps open, the hand reaches down between the shoulder blades. And then if you'd like to go a little bit deeper, release the left hand, reach it back behind you, and interlace the fingers or grab hold of the hand, stretching the elbows in opposite directions. And breathe and relax here, stretching open the shoulders and the upper chest and arms. When you're ready, gently release the hands bringing them down and switching sides. So now the left elbow goes up to the sky, the hands reaching between the shoulder blades. The right hand goes up gently supporting the left elbow, giving a gentle little stretch. You can keep it here, or if you'd like to go a little bit deeper, release the right hand, bring it back behind you, grabbing hold of the fingers, even if it's just one little fingertip. Sometimes each shoulder side is different from the other side, so work with where you are. 